in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am engineer Hani Camel. In this video, we are going to resume power transformer testing series. I will talk about winding static DC resistance. Why this test? Winding static DC resistance helping to ensure the following points. No short circuits inside windings. Good connection between bushings. Tap changes. Windings. There is no wrong wiring or open circuits. Winding DC resistance test has two types, static and dynamic DC resistance. For static DC winding resistance, it is performed after tap changer each desired tap. But for dynamic DC winding resistance, it is performed during tap changer shifting from tap to another. Both tests done at each tap of the tap changer. The results for static DC resistance will be included during dynamic test. But if you perform the static resistance, the dynamic values will not be measured. Now we will discuss static DC winding resistance test procedures. Injecting DC current into the winding under test by the transformer ohm meter tester. As we know the winding circuit is resistance and inductance. The DC current will work on saturating the core by magnetic flux. So XL component will be neglected. The tester will measure the DC voltage drop and will calculate the resistance. Wait till reading stabilizing and record the results. Perform test at all tap changer positions for all phases. And do not forget. Never interrupt test and remove current injection wires during injection. High voltage will be induced. This photo shown the connections to test each winding. High voltage winding. Low voltage winding. Tertiary winding. Also the test will be done at all tap positions. For the winding which have tap changer. From my side test. I will share with you some examples for failed test. Our first example. Power transformer with 67 MVA 130 to over 13.8 over 6.6 YNYN 0 D11 with 27 tap. DC winding resistance for 1 W1N winding. Higher than the value it should be for both taps 12 and 26. And actually this is the same fixed tap in the selector switch of the tap changer. And accordingly, manufacturer drained the oil. They found bad crimping for the cable connected to the mentioned tap. Second example. Power transformer with 67 MVA 130 to over 13.8 over 6.6 YNYN 0 D11 with 27 tap. DC winding resistance for 6.6 kV tertiary delta winding for Y3Y1 winding. Higher than the value it should be. And equal the summation of the other two windings. This indicates open delta in Y1 or Y3 bushings. And accordingly, manufacturer drained the oil. And they found open delta in Y3 bushing. Dynamic DC winding resistance. This topic will be discussed in details in the next video. Finally and not the end. Thank you for watching my video. Hope it meets your interest. This video prepared by me engineer Hani Camel. For any suggestions or discussions. My contacts are shown. Do not forget. Subscribe my channel to get notification for next video.